Okay, so I spent some time, not long at all, just kind of wrapping that around and around. Of course, I could have made the trunk taller if I wanted to, but I kind of like the look of the branches, so I like to leave my trunk a little on the shorter side. Now, when it comes to weaving, there's two ways you can go about doing this. You could start by weaving at the bottom and have the kids weave all the way toward the top. And if you're going to do that, you can see the warp struts threads are really close together. I'm going to zoom in for you. So for that reason, if I were, I don't usually do it this way, but if I were going to, I would give the kids a tapestry needle to weave with. Nice and dull. That way it's easier for them to go over and under. So to start, under, over, under, over. And I find that having the kids use that extra hand really helps. They oftentimes want to let that non-dominant hand just chill out. We call it the lazy hand and I tell them you need to put your lazy hand to work. It always needs to work with you. And I usually just have them leave a tail. Sorry, I'm moving this around on you. And for now, I won't, don't want to worry about it. They could tie it to one of the branches. You could just leave it hanging. If you're starting at the bottom, then you'll want to push it all the way towards the bottom. And now that I have just gone over that last string, I'm now going to go under. For some reason, sometimes that tricks them a little bit. And you're just going over and under and then looping it around the side and coming back. The weaving portion of this does take a little while, but the kids really seem to enjoy it. You give them a fork. Forks work great at scrunching the yarn down. So this is one method where you could go about weaving. Like I said, I don't usually weave, have them weave this way when it comes to the trees, but it's definitely something you could do, especially if you want them to really fill up that entire tree. Now my kids, I have them start at the top. Let me see if I can take this out. I like that I wrote on my hand today and then failed to wash it off before filming this. That's how I got the nickname Classy Cassie. All right, so I usually have the kids start at the top. It's easier for them because it's a lot easier to see those warp strands and they just go over under. The problem with my method is, is that this um, weft string likes to slide down, as you can see it's doing. So I usually tell them to keep their hand in here, again with the tail, and always crunch it up after you've done a row. I just went over, so now I will go under. Cake. I mean, really, it's cake. You can um, have them weave this as with as many leaves woven leaves in the tree like what we're doing as you like or as few. It's really your choice or their choice. Um, I like to have them go about halfway because, or that's usually what they like because they like to see the branches and they also like that you can see through the tree branches to the landscape underneath. When you're getting ready to tie a new string on, best not to do is, I always tell them, put the old string, have it beside the new string. One of my kids today said to hula hoop it, which is what she called this method, hula hooping. The strings on top, go in the hole and pull. Push it as close to the waist yarn as possible for a little waist, pull those strings apart, and then they won't come undone unlike other kind of knots. I'm going to continue weaving and then I'll share this photo with you further on down my blog. Thanks guys, I'd love to hear any tips or ideas or thoughts you have about tree weaving. Talk to you soon.